Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Tanway Reveal 402 studio monitors. The Reveal lineup's been around for a long time. In fact, I remember the very first studio I ever set foot in had a pair of Tanoi Reveals, and I'm excited to check these new ones out. These are the most recent additions. They're part of a larger family that also includes the 502s and the Big Brother 802s, which I'll be reviewing next. So let's check these guys out. So let's start by looking at the broad picture. These are what you'd call ultra-compact, near-field monitors. They're great for small rooms and tight spaces where a larger monitor just isn't practical. They've got a 4-inch woofer, a 3-quarter inch tweeter, and they're active with a 50-watt biamp, 25 watts to the woofer, 25 watts to the tweeter. They've got a huge frequency response from 56 Hz all the way up to 48K, and a max SPL of 101 decibels. They sell for about 150 a speaker, give or take. So they're a great entry-level, affordable speaker for your home studio. I want to give a few shout-outs to some of the sweetest features. First up, they have poke-resistant tweeters. In the real world, you can't always keep pokey fingers away from your monitors, and these help to make sure that your tweeters aren't damaged by accident by other people or when you're moving the speaker. When you're mixing, the way the tweeters, waveguides, and crossovers have been designed, they have a nice big sweet spot. I like the fact that their ports are on the front. This helps in small rooms to address boundary coupling when in close proximity to a wall or other surface. What can happen with rear ported speakers is the bass will reflect off the wall and back into your room a split second later, causing phase cancellation or resonance spikes when recombined with your primary signal. With the front ports, this effect is reduced and made easier to deal with through acoustic treatment in your room. They have rubber isolation pads on the bottom to help seat the speaker firmly and to acoustically decouple it from the surface they're placed on. For even better results, place them on stands behind your mix desk or use bigger isolation pads like prime acoustic recoil stabilizers. One of my favorite things about these speakers is the aux link. Using an eighth inch stereo connection, you can plug in a laptop, tablet, phone, or any other music player directly to the speaker without using an audio interface. This is pretty huge. I can't tell you the number of times I've been sitting in the studio and wanted to connect a buddy's computer or phone to listen to a tune, but didn't because it was too much hassle digging out all the cables and setting everything up and plugging it in. This makes it super convenient, so props to Tanoi for thinking ahead and making these wonderfully functional. So let's geek out and take a look at some of the finer details on the back panel. First of all, these speakers are very easy to set up. Some of the monitors I've seen have a bewildering array of dials and dip switches on the back, and you basically need an acoustic technician to set them up properly, but not these guys. For inputs, you have a balanced XLR and unbalanced quarter inch, plus the extremely convenient eighth inch aux link. You can plug in an aux source to either speaker, then connect them together using the monitor link and provided cables. You can then use the speaker position switch to tell the system which speaker is on the left and which one's on the right. You've got volume, obviously, and a treble control, which will boost or attenuate the highs by 1.5 dB. The crossover is at 2.8K, so this affects frequencies above that point. Finally, you've got the power switch, power connection, and a voltage selector. But your ears don't care about technical specifications. Let's talk about how they actually sound. In my most recent mixdown project, I swapped the 402s in for my regular Genelec 8040 monitors, and I'll have to say I was really impressed with the range and amount of sound that came out of such a small format ultra compact monitor. These guys were great. One of the things that I look for in a studio monitor is I look for accuracy. I look for flat response. And in this case, I felt they did a really great job of giving me a revealing, as the name might imply, picture of my sound. Other monitors that I've listened to in the past, I've tossed because I felt like they hyped the highs too much or they hyped the lows. And what we're looking for in a reference monitor is we're looking for accuracy. And I really felt like these guys helped me to make excellent mix decisions on my tune. Now, these guys sound great. They are a full range speaker and will work fantastic for most genres of music. In this case, for me, I mix bass music, so I felt like plugging them into a sub to extend that low frequency response down low was a really good idea. But in general, these guys are monsters for their size and they gave me a great mix down. I was super impressed. So all things considered, the 402s are pretty legit, especially given the price point. I was a little skeptical going in, given that I normally mix on a Genelec system, whether these guys were going to have enough jam, but I was super impressed with the amount of sound that came out of such a small monitor. 
Plus, I really liked the addition of those real-world features like the poke-resistant tweeters, front-firing base ports are a plus, and I just love that aux link that allows you to plug in a peripheral device, laptop, iPhone, tablet without the use of an audio interface. So these guys are great entry-level speakers for your home base studio. For most genres of music, they're going to give you more than enough range, and they sounded fantastic. Check them out.